to you all back. We'll have time for for enough uh, questions. I want to introduce Hortense Le Gentil, a very, very um, impressive woman, friend, a colleague in Marshall Goldsmith Coaches. I met her a few years ago while she was still in Paris. And um, she's one of the, I think, the best coach I've ever met. She's very generous, smart, uh, caring, and, and very insightful. So I, I, it has been a while since I wanted to invite Hortense to join us. She just launched a few months ago her book called Alignment, which is a topic I think is, is so important, not just for business, for leaders, for everybody to be aligned on. So I, I wanted to know more about her thoughts and what can she share for us uh, today in this uh, a bit less than an hour. So uh, without too much um, uh, talk here, I, I just welcome Hortense. Thank you for being with us, with this global community of volunteers. Uh, welcome. Thank you so much, Antonio. Thank you for your kind words. And, you know, I'm very, very moved. So I'm very happy to be here. And uh, you're a so good friend. And uh, I'm very happy to meet all of you. And uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, answer your question and, and, and debate and chat and whatever is going to happen. <laughs> Thank you, Hortense. We always ask. Uh, or guests to um, explain a bit more about yourself or tense, your career. You've gone through different companies. You're now in, I think, in New York. So what were the highlights of your experience, your career? How did you become what you are now? So I was born and raised in France uh, between uh, Normandy and, and, and Paris. And I think I learned my first alignment uh, in, in my first life because I had several lives and uh, my first life was a, a, a show jumper competitor so I was a sh I was competed, uh, competed uh, as, a, as a show jumper uh, with my horses and I think I learned there what what is alignment because you know when you are working with a horse it, it's like a, it's a human it's like a person you have to communicate with him so uh, it was my first life uh, after I studied uh, marketing in, in Paris and, and in Boston. And I worked, uh, I worked for a large company, uh, advertising and media company uh, for years uh, until I decided to jump to my next life uh, as an entrepreneur and uh, in the recycling steel uh, industry. So I, I learned there, I was a CEO uh, uh, and, uh, and, uh, of this company and I managed this company for 10 years. And I learned, I think, everything here, you know, about, of course, management and, uh, and, uh, and people and new business and, and so on. And it was there that I found my calling, in fact. So it took a time, <laughs> it took a long time. It was a journey. I took the scenic roads. Uh, but at least I, you know, at the end I found it uh, when a friend of mine asked me uh, to help an entrepreneur, a friend of his. And so, um, so I said, of course, yes. And he, and he told me, you should, you, you should be a coach. And I said, no, 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 no. I'm not going to be a coach. I don't know what is a coach. I, uh, don't tell me that, you know, and I, I have my, my company and, and it's good. Uh, but you know uh, the feeling that you know I, the feeling that I had, uh, and I understood that I could really make a difference and help others. And at that time, I found absolutely aligned and absolutely in peace and and in joy. I understood that it was my place. It was the right the right place for me. So again, I you know I I changed life. I closed the door of my entrepreneur one and opened the door of the new one as an as a executive leadership coach and um, and as an, an author right now and so i was still in paris at that time and let's say that years years after i don't remember exactly but it's three years maybe uh, i um, i met marshall goldsmith so 
so Marshall, uh, you know, uh, honored me by, by taking me by, in the MG Unadrol. This is where I met you. I think it was a year, the same year. And, uh, and so for two years, I was between the two countries. And my dream was to come back to U.S. because I had the feeling that, you know, I would be more aligned with, with my philosophy and what I did. And, um, and so I wrote this book. And during, uh, during the, you know, the time that I wrote this book, I interviewed people. I think I interviewed you, Antonio. And, uh, and, and I inter interviewed somebody else. And so, and now, uh, you know, I found, uh, I found uh, my new life here and I found, uh, uh, and I found my, uh, my, my new husband because, you know, I had a long journey and I divorced and I had, uh, I had two kids and I am now in New York, full time in New York. I'm living in New York and I'm working as a coach here. Like everyone, uh, I'm remote. And uh, so I'm working from home. Uh, I do my best to do that, and um, and and here I am. Thank you, Ten. So quite quite a lot of jumps and uh, and uh, and uh, kind of trying to reinvent yourself, uh, finding your your purpose, your passion. Uh, I, I love that when when people try to continuously evolve and. And it's not easy. Uh, we've not been trained for that. But let me go to the point of alignment. I think we all use that word many times during the week, the days. But I want to hear your definition. What do you mean by align or alignment? By align, I mean uh, being, you know, I'm sure we all uh, we all had this time where we fall uh, we, we we felt on a roll. So at uh, at the right place when when you know you fall, you find peace. Uh, everything is easy. Everything comes easy easiest. It's like all the door are open. Uh, it's exactly like you know as a surfer when you catch the the, the good waves. Uh, you know you have this feeling that wow. It's good. It's good. So you're going to fall, to fail to fall at at what time? But uh, but but you, you feel good. Uh, so this is what what I yeah, what, what I am. Um, uh, you know my definition of alignment is really connecting your true self to who you really are with the leader you're meant to be. So that means be you know be aware of who you are today, and uh, be sure that what you think, what you're doing. Where you are is because you want. It's not because your education. It's not because you to please your mom, your 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 husband, your wife, whatever. Who uh, be sure it's yourself because I think that we all have uh, a special talent and uh, and like a, a mission, let's say, and and so uh, and so you have to develop this talent. And and to find where and how you can you can define this talent. So how you do that? You you know you know connecting with, with your true self is really you know clean uh, clear clear the noise outside and again uh, what, what, come back to yourself and what why you are doing what you are doing. Or, you know why uh, you what do you want to do next? What kind of leader you want to be? What kind of legacy you want to let? Uh, how you want to remember? How you want to re to be remembered for? Uh, you know, all that kind of question belongs only to you, to yourself. And and this is this is how I you know what I what I call alignment. So it's kind of being in peace with yourself and and a positive mindset and not uh, uh, yeah yeah no, yeah. And how long can you be? be aligned can you be it's a thing of one day or a week or a month or a year mm -hmm. how how long can you be aligned before you get disrupted again oh i think i think you have to be careful every day so and sometimes every hour you know but the more you're doing and and of course uh, the more the more uh, you are aligned uh, naturally so but i think it's an exercise of you know being at the present moment and being conscience uh at every moment in fact so of course you have a difference you know because of course you don't change life every five minutes 
This is not what I mean. What I mean is what you are doing right now, is it aligned with what you want to do? Uh, so for example, to be here, uh, is it good? Is it is the right thing? Uh, do, do you um, do you feel okay? Do you feel you know, Are you going to um, to to learn something or you know th that kind of thing? You know if if somebody wants you to do something different uh, in one hour, but you really don't want to do it, you feel like um, no no no, I'm going to do it to please, but in fact I don't want to do it. You are this line. So think about it. Think about it and say, uh oh, why? Why I feel that? Why should I do it? So think about it and, and, and decide, you know. So you have different type of alignments, but I think being aligned uh, is really um, a work of uh, every minute, maybe, right? Wow. You know? Yeah. And from your research for the book, uh, Hortense, who who were the individuals that show you best in this uh, characteristic or, or skill or competencies? Uh, can you share one or two examples of, wow, you saw these people, you interview them, and these, these are role models in terms of alignment? Mm. Um, yo, uh, yes, I, I had um, in my research, I thought, I had some example of people, of CEOs, for example, or even if you are not CEOs, doesn't matter, because everybody is a leader. You are a leader of your life. Um, it's the the person who, who, who want to change. So at one point, um, they realize for a reason or for another. So I had this example of um, uh, somebody who uh, you know that I met, a friend of mine, and he was disappeared because uh, he was always, you know, uh, walking like crazy and everything was absolutely disaligned, but he didn't realize. So he was exhausted and, and he was always, you know, shouting about everybody and said, ah, they don't do that, they don't do that. But he didn't realize anything. And at one point, he was, he showed vulnerability and he told me, okay, what I'm doing wrong. And at that point, I think you need a lot of courage to do that. But at that point, you can change. And so we work on uh, you know, how we can change and how we can do uh, things differently. He was not communicating with other, in fact. He didn't know how to connect with other. Uh, so it's not answering your question this directly, but it's how you can move from this line to aligned. And at the end of the day, um, you know, this man uh, was a CEO of, of, of a very large company in France, uh, really changed. Everything changed. And he changed his life, and, uh, you know, he changed his position, it, and he found a purpose, in fact. He already find, uh, uh, found uh, uh, this, this why, in fact. Why he was working, uh, what he wanted to do. Uh, he find meanings, in fact. So, so that was a very good example. Um, another example uh, uh, in my research, of course, it's all. I'm on, when you sh we, when you see Oprah, for example, uh, it's a really role model of uh, of alignment. So how how she she did what she did, how she uh, she learned from failure. Uh, she you know she um, always uh, jumped to to the other uh, to the other life also. So I think um, it's a really good role model for uh, for alignment, and and of course after you have um, you have the, you know Gandhi or, or people like that of course they are very very aligned because they are driver they know why they are doing what they are doing so it's really their driver and uh, and and so and you are very impressed when you when you can see that. I'm sorry, I'm a little disturbed because I have a man who comes from my windows. I am in New York and I'm in a big building and, and, and a man, you know, just come in my window. They, they, they repair something. I don't know what it is. So. Or tens, one question, huh? I guess decision making. So we make a lot of decisions, private work, it's a very important factor to be aligned, no? that you take decisions aligned, um, but sometimes maybe it's not 
possible or how do you know which decision is the most aligned when you have different options and how would you incorporate that in your day-to-day -day, uh, life um, and related to making decisions? Antonio, I, it was so cut that I didn't get the end of the question. I'm sad about the connection. Let me repeat our tense. Um, how do you um, ensure that the decisions that we take uh, on our personal life or work life are aligned? Um, uh, which decision, if you have three options, which one would be the most aligned? How can you know that? It's just gut feeling, or is there anything else that you can do? Okay, so I think for me, uh, to me, the answer is very easy. It's uh, really the, if you have many options, and of course we always have many options. Uh, if we have many options, uh, at one point, stop thinking with your left brain and start feeling. And you will know which answer, which way to take, which road to take, or which decision to take at that moment. Could take a little time, but really, I think, you know, when it's difficult and, and you don't know, and sometimes, and, and especially now, you know, in this time of crisis, we absolutely don't know what's going on and what, what, is going, what the future is going to be. Uh, it's very important to take that time Stop, stop, you know, thinking and said, okay, plus, minus, if I do that, consequence, we don't know. So this is really, really your left brain who wants, you know, to, uh, you know, your mental decide, but it cannot anymore. So really is this right, you know, the emotion, emotional side of yourself, so your heart, in fact, uh, you know, so listen to your heart, go, go inside and listen, feel, and you will know, I guarantee. This is really what I'm doing and what exercise, and this is what I do with my, my, uh, my clients, or this is, yeah, I think so. this is the best way to do it. Okay, thank you. Trust your, your gut and your heart, I like that. Um, let me start with a few questions. I see already a few, so Lucine. Lucine from uh, from France, actually a good friend, I think from me. Lucine, can you yes. come? Yeah. Yes. Hello, everybody. Where are you calling Hello. from? Hello. Hello. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Thank you to share some a few times with us and to explain for your subject to align because uh, is is a um, is a big subject and is an interesting subject. Uh, for us, we would like to become a better uh, a leader for the organization for my life. Uh, my question is, uh, what is the secret to having uh, emotional, mental, or instinctive balance to obtain a good, uh, uh, yes, the balance to, 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 uh, to work or to, to decide better with a good level of balance for the three, three, uh, three subject. Mm -hmm. So I think that, um, okay, so you have to be aware of how it works. So I've, of course, it, it's an image that we have two hemispheres. Mm -hmm. So you know that the left one is all about what you learn. So what we know, already know. So, you know, it's, it's the one that uh, the education uh, teach you to use. Okay, uh, this is the one who refer to the past. So this is this one. A and this is, you know, the, 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 the hemisphere for, for the language also. You have the right one. The right one, the right hemisphere is all about emotion. And it doesn't work the same way. It's, it's the one who is going to give you the idea. It's the one who can make you uh, connect with another person. Uh, human to human because it's heart you know it's the heart it's uh, the emotion it's the intuition it's all that part so first i would say be aware of uh, how it works the first thing is if you want to try to balance 
uh, try to understand. So at one point you're feeling something. Oh, okay, this is my emotional side. Uh, and 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 uh, another moment you say you have this little voice always, always, and and say don't do that. No, you're afraid. You cannot do that. So this is your mantle. But you say, Shh, you know, this is your mantle. So shut up to your mantle because you want to talk with your emotional side. And so for you first things, little exercise like that. And try every day to have a moment for you uh, of, we can call meditation, but meditation is always mean to be at the present moment. So for example, very easy thing. If you like music, for example, you can uh, listen to, uh, to, to a song, so take it in French and try to listen to all the words and not let your mantle go mm -hmm. and say, oh, I have to go to there to do that. No, stop and go back. Try it. You cannot do all, all the songs. That's not possible. Don't try. You, you're, going to, you're going to fail. But, you know, two minutes, for example, you know, begin like that and begin to have a routine to find yourself and to go back to yourself. So it could be that. It could be I have one of my clients to take, a, you know, um, a cup of coffee mm -hmm. and go to the windows and have sun, uh, you know, for five minutes. And he tried to, doesn't think about anything, just looking at the windows and having his coffee. You know, it's a big CEO. Uh, so try to have some moments like that in your, in your life. Okay. And, 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 you, and you will see, you will see, you will open, it's very really open your emotional side. And what you could do also uh, is all about uh, drawing, painting, singing, Every artistic thing is come from there. So you could also do that, you know, for well, for an era, you can draw or paint or whatever, you know, things like that. And, and automatically you will, you will learn how to do it. And when you will not know, so, so when you, you know, the logic stop, up, the other part is, is coming. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lucine. And thank you, nice tip to do with the music or the painting. I would practice that, yeah. Uh, let's go yeah. to Mark. Mark, uh, how are you? Come on stage. Where are you calling uh, from? Thank you. I am, I am well. I'm calling from California. Uh, or since I'm a, fire, I'm a former New Yorker for most of my life, and I spent many years in France. So um, I know, and I was wondering whether you rode horses in Perche or not, where you were from between Paris and Normandy. Uh, but that's what's in between Paris and Normandy is, is Perche, right? So <laughs> Absolutely. anyway, uh, uh, good. Okay. I know well. The, um, the question that I have is you, you have a view of people which says they have sort of a true self that they can find, as opposed to the view of people that says they have a true self that they can choose, that, that it is, it's, it's a choice and not a, a discovery. And so that I was wondering, uh, you know, especially when it comes to purpose, do you think people are born with a purpose or do you think people choose their purpose essentially like they choose other things or it's a or it's a um, result of their influence as a child like religion uh, so how do you see this uh, and therefore if it's a choice do we have to choose before we can really align thank you for this question very hard question so i will say that we keep find finding uh, because I, I believe, you know, I believe, you know, uh, and this is my experience, but I believe that uh, we really all are born with a special talent. So a special mission. And you can uh, find it very, uh, very soon or later or never. And you come back to your next life and you, you, you try again uh, if you believe in that but it's really about finding um, and 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 in fact it makes sense when you think about it it's really finding yourself and 
because of course we were made uh, and influenced by all our education, our parents, our religion, and everything. But at, at one moment, at one point, you have to think about it. And do you, okay, do you feel okay with that? If, for example, if I give, give some example for me, talking about religion, I was uh, b born and I am a Catholic. So I was born and raised as a Catholic, okay? Uh, but it never resonates with me. I never find answer there. Uh, so, you know, at one, at, at one moment in my life, I, I, I found, I was looking for myself, you know, remember when we were uh, teenagers, you know, that age where you are against everything and you find your way. In fact, it's, I think it's all our lives that we are like that. So, and really, it's find your own way, but it's difficult. Uh, and after when you find it, in fact, you 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 feel it more than you find as i explain you know how i yeah i found uh uh you know my calling at the end uh, uh was really that i feel that i can make a difference there uh you know i can help there uh and when and i think everybody wants to make a difference or, or uh, help others i think you know in all our hearts this is what we want. We like to we like to help others because this is, if not, you know, there is no meaning in you, in our life. So even if you know if it's only helping your family or your best friend or your or, or your wife or whatever, but we want to to help. We want to please. We want we want to be useful. Uh, so to choose, uh, you don't have to choose. Uh, because you don't have many ways, in fact. There is only, for me, there is, to me, there is only one way. There is one way. And you have to find this way. And, and you will know. You will know because you will feel this, this moment where whatever others are going to tell you, you know it's right. Uh, but it takes a journey. That is helpful. I look at it, I use different words, but each person is unique. That is the one yeah, thing that we can say about every single human of the 8 billion, that they are yeah. unique. And that corresponds to what you're saying, find your own uniqueness, which is what I advise people yeah. to do. Good. Yeah. We are aligned. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Love that. Thank you. Good, Mark. And we go now to Paula also. You're calling from Canada. Paula, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for uh, for hosting uh, this uh, session with Hortense. Bonjour Hortense. Uh, enchanté de vous connaître. Je suis en France. Uh, Bonjour. Uh, nice Paola. to meet you. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice um, I mean, I'm in Canada right now. Um, that's okay. where I live. Um, so I just welcomed uh, Hortense to the group uh, for everyone who doesn't speak French. Um, Je parle français aussi, bien sûr. Bonjour tout le monde. Oui, il y a, oh, il y a plusieurs il y a personnes qui parlent français ici. <rire> ah oui, je vois. Ah, merci, Christine. Um, bon, uh, to my question. So, when you speak <laughs> of alignment, because uh, there are a lot of other people who have questions too. So, when you speak of alignment, Hortense, you've uh, suggested we think about it. So, in this meta thinking process, this thinking about our thinking, um, how do you propose we identify our self limiting thoughts? that prevent us from having a life in alignment with ourselves. So um, is there like a specific process you go through? Is apart from the fact that it's a journey to ourselves, you know, interior and exterior, I think anyway, but in your thought process, do you have a specific process that you go to that helps you one, identify your self-limiting thoughts? And then, mm -hmm. um, and then apart from that, you know, it helps you rewire your brain towards a more positive search. You talk about rewiring your brain in your book. Um, so yeah. how do you propose we go about doing that? Thank you for uh, having my book. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, absolutely. So I think you have to begin by the beginning. So, and if you want to work on that first, I think all in our life, we, we can find a clue. So map your life. And go back so, to exercise very easy. Oh, not so easy, but go back to your early dream when you were a child, childhood. 
Um, so think about it. For example, if you wanted to be a doctor, okay? So think about why. Okay, why I wanted to be a doctor? Okay, because I wanted to help others or save life or whatever. But why? You know, what was my, my image of that as a kid and, and everything? So you, you go through uh, all the why. And after that, you try to see if you have some of that in your life today. Doesn't mean that you are a doctor today and you have to go back to, to study. Uh, uh, no, doesn't mean that. But you why? Can you express, you know, why you wanted to do that today in your life, in your today life? So this is, this is really a good exercise to do and to realize, oh, no, yes. And if the answer is no, what, what could you do? How can you include more of that in your life? Doesn't mean always that you have to change everything. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Uh, sometimes it's just, you know, be aware of things like that because when you are aware of that, you can, you can see, you can see and find uh, in your environment. So that's a, the first exercise. The second exercise, it's we begin by the, the beginning, by our, our early life, but we finish by what do you want people to tell about you at your funeral? And when we say about people, your family, your friends, your coworker, the person you were working with, and every, you know, and other, you know? So this is not, nothing about ego. This is about what is important for you. And I know this is a very difficult exercise. So, and very strange. Sometimes people say, oh, it's not very, yes. But I know that some coaches do, uh, make the exercise when you uh, your retirement speech, you know, write your retirement speech. But for me, it's not enough because we are all, we are all, we are not, you know, we are the same person who are going to work or to work or at Zoom now and a mom and a doctor or and whatever. So we are all the same person. So. I think it's much more powerful to do it that way. Uh, so if you do uh, write, write, try to write this and you know that and and do the exercise, you will find two ways. You know to find your purpose because you will find your purpose in, in doing that and said, oh, this is what is important for me, because you want to be remembered for that. You want you know your your family. You I don't know who, but people remember you as what. Think about it. So. Okay. So in the thinking of this, this is my part two of my question. So in the thinking about this, there, I mean, we can, we can think about it and keep thinking about it over the days. It's part of the process, but how do you document yeah. it so that you can then do the meta thinking of analyzing what you're thinking about? So what is it, what is it that you do that works? You found that works um, in terms of documenting the process. You use a mind map. Um, do, you, do you keep a journal and then review it? Um, do you, uh, I don't know, do, do you have a different sort of schema to be able to document your, your journey towards finding, you know, where you are right now to where you want to be in five years to how you want other people to talk to you, talk about you at your funeral. So what specific documentation exercises do you use to, uh, that we can, that we can emulate that might help one limit those self-limiting thoughts to rewire our yeah. brains and then and then help us towards this journey to finding our our purpose and then self-alignment yeah so yeah so from there so when you, you you did this exercise and you you're aware of, from there you decide you decide that okay um i want to uh you know, I want, uh, so there are different stages, <laughs> but let's say, right, but what exercises that, do you use is what I'm saying. What daily question, the, mm -hmm. the daily question. So what is a daily, a daily question? Daily question is you decided to, uh, uh, you know, to, uh, to be more, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, to be more, um, to have more joy, for example. Okay. okay. To be, to be happy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So every day you ask yourself the same question. So you write it. Mm -hmm. Did I do my best? Happy with that. And it's very important to say, did I do my best? Because 
the purpose is not to do, you know, to, if you fail, you didn't do it this way today, it's okay. But like that, you, 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 your mind is going to remember because we all made connections. So we made the connection, for example, that you know, drink water, water is good for me because you heard that. And now you decided that water is not any more good for me. I have to, to uh, drink milk. So it's a muscle. The muscle is not like, like that. You have to change your way. So you have to, to exercise because you decided, you know, now that, you know, uh, milk is good for you. So you really have to exercise. It's like, you know, you never use your, your arm and now you use it. So you really have to do it. It's, it's the way to rewire uh, your brain. And every day, and I can tell you, uh, and my clients, when they do it, I, I, I see the change very fast. And I see it. And when they don't, I can see it in two minutes also because you didn't do it. And, and, and it works. It works very well. This is the only way to, uh, to rewire, in fact, for me. Okay. Well, that's, that's great. You know, in Spanish, there's an expression, I speak Spanish too, um, is an expression that we say, el gusto está en la repetición. So the pleasure is in the repetition. Um, so repeating, repeating the, these questions that allow you to get towards that, that goal of uh, self-alignment is definitely useful. Do you use any other techniques like mind maps or other types of schema apart from the repeat question? Uh, no, this is, no. I just, I just make, you know, those questions, yeah, working on those questions, but every day, every day, every day. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Merci bien. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Hortense, for these tips. I, I'm taking notes, so thinking about when you were a kid and your passion, what you wanted to do, uh, and why you wanted to do it, not just the, the role, but you, you make me think, and also these daily questions, which look like uh, a bit irrelevant or but you're saying no this is actually very powerful the the becoming a habit to rewire your brain just one question per day the same question i like it so much yeah i can tell you that it works because uh, just a quick example i have a uh, uh, one of my clients uh, i didn't see her uh, uh, in, in august during vacation and she came back uh, and she, she walked a lot before and she really changed, rewire everything because she, she really, it was, you know, a big example of how you can change. And, um, and she came back in September and just, you know, the fact to see her, uh, she didn't have the same face. She, 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 she was not aligned anymore. And I told her, ah, ha, ha, you didn't do your daily question. And she told me, Oh no, I was in vacation. I say, hey, yeah, but your brain also was in vacation. So, so you up and it, it, it works. It really works. Yeah. So Thank she did you. it again. And after, you know, it's, it's come back. Get used to it. Let me check, uh, Christian, you made a comment here. You want to share or put it on the table question? Yes. Um, two quick things. Um, uh, this morning, uh, not only this morning, but sometimes uh, I have my morning routines. And uh, like when I prepare breakfast uh, to myself and uh, my dog, uh, I do things in a, in a, in a certain order. And uh, I, I challenge myself every day to try to do it in a different order. Yeah. So this is about reviving the brain. But one more thing that, that I do uh, regularly, um, uh, every day I, I call this uh, reflection. I do a lot of reflections. I have a mind map and what I do is is um, I write down every day or at least I try to, not every day is possible, financially it's like this sometimes, too tired simply or something in that area. What I do is I write down what was good today, what, what I'm thankful for and what is the, um, the this day's harvest, what has this day uh, given? Yeah, and uh, what I do as 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 well is is um, no, I stop there. That's what I do. Yeah, uh, and I do this in a mind map, 
and I look at it on Sundays. I have um, I have uh, some time for for you know looking back, reflect. Oh, week. Sorry, I, uh, I didn't get the end. Yeah, it's it's breaking up a bit. I think so. Can you hear me now? It was cut. I didn't. I didn't. Can Can you yeah. hear me now? Okay, it's it's across the Atlantic. I cannot hear. Yeah, can you hear oh. now? Can you can you hear no. now? Better. Yeah, Better? yeah. Okay, yes, just to yes, 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 it yes, breaks yes. up again. Um, what why I, what I said is I have this in a mind map and I look at it every uh, every Sunday and the planned week ahead uh, with the objectives because in that above I have the objectives in the mind map and it 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 works yeah. quite well. But now I'm going to share something real personal and I'm going to be quiet after this. And what I'm sharing with you is, is I'm, and this is very personal, I'm, I'm very hard with myself, you know, I, I, I have high, very high demands and I'm not, I'm not kind. And you probably have given me something very, very, very useful today. And this, the very useful part that you've given me today is, is actually this, this about, did I do my best? Why should I continue to write down all these things? It takes too much time. And uh, all through the day, try to do things differently, you know, the way you're not used to do it. And um, I like doing exercises every 10 minutes. I can do it. I work from home. I have a home gym just outside of my office. So um, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Christian. This is so important and, and we are all like that. We are, we are bad with ourselves. So you have to be kind with yourself uh, because we are human. So that's why did I do my best? Absolutely. We are human. So we are, go we are not perfect, of course, but we do our best. We have to think about it. That's all. And, 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 and yes, this is not about performance. It's, it's about a journey. Try your best. That's all. Try your your way. It's not about be you know the smartest person and the best person, and and that's all. And when you begin to be kind with yourself, you're going to be kinder with others also. Nice. Thank you, Christian, for sharing. Yeah, you want to come. Thank you, Christian. I'm, I'm kind with others, but not as kind to myself. That is that is the issue. Yeah. Yeah. So, but thank you very much for the coaching. Thank you. Well. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Christian. There's a question from Lourdes from Venezuela. Thank you, Caracas. so happy. Lourdes. Hi, thank you. Well, uh, my my question or first some comments about this subject that, by the way, is so interesting. But I think that those kind of um, so, uh, thoughts happen in some stage of your life, for example. Um, in the in the recent years, I started thinking about my purpose, um, if I am aligned or not. But this not happened in my in my in, in the in my many years ago or when I was starting in the university. I think that the life is like like you know you are following the road that happens in, in your life. But now after some years, you start thinking about all these things and also questioning if you are in the right path or not. Uh, I don't know if it is maturity or what, but in some point of life, you start questioning your actions um, and also if you are really in the aligned or not with your purpose in life. Um, however, I have teenagers, my kids, and I think that they are so aligned for the, for, for the the age that they have, I think that the new generation, they are becoming aligned or, or more clear at an early stage of life. I don't know what is your thought about that. Mm. Yeah, so thank you for sharing that. Uh, um, yes, I, uh, okay, two things. First, uh, why I'm asking you, uh, you uh, to think about your childhood is because I don't know how old are your child. How old are they? Um, they are 13 and 14. 
13 or 14, okay. So, because when we are young, it's zero to seven, everything, you know, you know, we, we, we built ourselves at that age. So it's, it's a little, you know, earlier that, that 13 and 14. And, uh, and so at that, at that moment, you are aligned. You know, when you are a kid, you are always aligned. Look at your kid, you know, they are always aligned. Not as a teenager, but as a kid. And so as, uh, that was the first point. The second point is, yes, the, the, the young people today, um, again, it's a question of brain. So uh, the universe give us the brain that we, uh, is going to be helpful uh, in the decade we are going to live. Our brain is different from the brain of our parents and the brain of our kids are different also. And, and we educated differently, they saw differently and their approach in life is very different. And they are looking for meanings. So they can find meanings much, much easier than we, we did. So you are much younger than I am. But, um, you know, it's really a question of, 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 of education. And if you, if I, education and brain and how your brain is, 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 uh, is wider. And um, and so yes, so I think the the generation, uh, the youngest generation, is more aligned at that age. But the thing is, they has to 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 stay to stay like that. But they are looking for meanings. You know, they want to have a life uh, with meanings, not a life to make money or be the best or things like that. And this is very different from you know uh, other uh, generation. And this is good, this is great. They are more, more conscious also. Thank you, Lourdes. I have a question from Alfonso from Madrid. You're muted, Alfonso. I think we are all learning to re li read lips by now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Thanks for uh, your uh, nice presentation. Thank you very much. Um, to thank stay you. Here. And uh, well, I am um, defining myself as a passionate uh, guide. I mean, I am so enthusiastic with my profession and with the type of things that I do. And uh, well, I, I know that uh, being aligned, as you said, is quite important, right? So I would like to, I would like to know uh, what is your opinion about the relationship between the enthusiasm of uh, an individual, men or women, and uh, an alignment, right? Because uh, uh, many, many occasions every day I'm trying to do uh, sometimes much more things that I needed to do, right? Because I am so enthusiastic and I am looking for results and so on, right? But the thing is that probably not all the things that I am trying to do are really aligned what, uh, with the type of things that I need to do at the end. Okay. So... So do you, do you believe that there is a relationship between that uh, or there is any, uh, any things, any part of uh, passion that is affecting your alignment or, or not? Thank you. Okay, thank you for, for, thank you for this question. It was cut a little, so, but I, I think I got, I got the question. Um, uh, okay, so enthusiasm uh, and alignment. Okay, I will joy more than enthusiasm uh, you find your way so you are enthusiastic and you are you, you feel joy and you feel more happy because you, you know that you, it, it's it's the way so and and same for patient uh, you know uh, I don't know if you can see it but I can you know I, I am a passionate person so you know I, I can you know uh, I can take hours to, uh, to, uh, to talk or to work on that or to refer or whatever. Uh, so passion is good uh, that way, I think. And this is really, uh, if you feel like that and you, you like what you're doing, you probably are very aligned. And uh, sometimes if you are disaligned, uh, uh, if you think you, you're, you're doing too much, uh, or on one thing because you're you're passionate with that and maybe you forget something you know outside of that uh if you suffer for that uh remember that you 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 are all you know one person so how you can 
make others, you know, share your enthusiasm. You can share your enthusiasm with others. I think, you know, when we are very enthusiastic about something, no, share it and try to explain others why you are enthusiastic. And maybe they're going to help you or whatever, but uh, make a link between you and others and you allow others to, uh, to, to share your, your passion and to understand you, you know. And if they don't share your passion, at, at least they understand. And, and I think this is, this is important. It is important to explain and say, you know, this is not because I don't like you, but, Thank you, you know. Much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Alfonso. Thank you, Hortense. We're coming to uh, an end here. There's a good debate on, on the chat. I think will take us a bit of, of time. So uh, we let you, the people will reach to you, Hortense, for sure. It's a very active uh, group, but it's around the kids and, 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 and how they can find their, their alignment and so on. Um, Antonio? Take, yes. So sorry, I, I do actually have one other question that I wanted to ask, Hortense, sure, if please. that's okay. Um, yeah. So Hortense, with regard to um, the work that you do with CEOs and other leaders uh, and the alignment, I mean, one thing is, is applying it to our own personal journeys. Another thing is when you apply it in a business context so that leaders can find alignment within their organizations. Now, specifically, I, um, um, I work in, in supporting women's leadership. It, it's an important topic for me. Um, so how do you see that slightly different in terms of self-limiting thoughts or practices that you think are, are, are more helpful for women to, to move into their own alignment and, and to, into their own self, self-fulfillment? Mm -hmm. So um, first, I think uh, I would jump on Chris, what Christian just said before, women, be nice with yourself. Stop trying to do everything Stop trying to do everything very well. It's okay. You know, every day I repeat that to myself also, you know, because I think all women are made like that. So I don't know why. But so do you mean like perfection? I think is that what you're referring to? First thing woman. We're losing a yeah. bit. Perfection. Yeah, saying the first thing to a woman, I think. The second thing is be yourself. You don't have to be like men, like other. It's good. We're getting a bit cut. Yeah, I think the connection is, the connection is a little spotty. Try Can again. you hear me? Me. Could you repeat? Could you repeat what you said, Hortense, please? Okay, try again. Okay. Yeah. Did you Did you get? Um, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, we can he We can hear you now. Yeah, Go you ahead can and hear repeat me. it if you could, s'il vous plaît. Okay. I try. Okay, I try something. Is it better if I do that? Can you hear me? Sure. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, very well. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, okay, so maybe it's better because, okay, so uh, yeah, so woman, uh, don't be perfect. And the second thing is um, be yourself. So uh, be yourself. Don't be, you know, the woman, uh, don't try to be like the men uh, that are uh, in, in your company, in your environment or whatever. Uh, or if you are a CEO, don't try to be the, the same CEO that the CEO before who was maybe a man or whatever. Keep, keep you staying yourself. This is so important for women because there, there are two things that they always do is, you know, I want to be absolutely perfect to do everything. So they work harder than, than the other one and everything. And they, they don't have confidence in themselves. So they think that instead, okay, maybe one, another thing, instead of thinking, trying to think, what do you, what they want from me think, think differently and said okay what do you want to do for them 
uh, and allow you as a woman to be a woman. You are a woman. So if you have kids, but you have kids, you have a mom, you are a mom. I have a very, very good uh, example with uh, Corey Berry uh, here uh, in US. Uh, she's an amazing uh, CEO of, of this buy. And, you know, when she replaced uh, Uber Jolie, uh, you know, she came with the family and said, okay, I'm a mom, okay? So, and kids are there and, the, and she is herself. So, I think, I don't know if it's helpful uh, answering your question, Rose, but this, there are the two keys, the two things that I will, uh, will do first. Okay, merci bien. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank you, Hortense. I, be kind with yourself. I think that's what we are learning. Um, I, I think there's a lot of positive messages and, and tools and tips that you share or tense. Uh, this is what we're looking because we want to learn and we want to share it. Uh, it's all very nonprofit, voluntary. How can we help others that need that more than us? So I really, really want to thank you on behalf of our, our team or community for the time you've taken or tense to visit us today and I'm sure some of them will reach out, will promote your book, and we hope to see you again in the future. So thank you very much. I was so delighting, so happy uh, to be with, with all of you. Thank you, Antonio. Thank you, everyone. Uh, and don't hesitate, you know, if you, I have a website, so you can write me or ask Antonio. Antonio know where I am. I would be more than happy to help and to continue our discussion. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I'll put the chat somewhere because there's a lot of good comments. There's the thank link you. to the book. So take care, keep safe, and, and see you soon. You too. Merci à vous. Thank you. Bye-bye. Merci. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.